Yes, she says she saw that story last night and saw those numbers from the State Department of Health and says she's not only worried about her own health and safety, but others inside her facility. With COVID-19 numbers rising across the state, the most vulnerable are at risk. I don't want anybody else to get sick. I don't want to get sick myself. Marcia Foster, a resident of one of Oklahoma City's long-term care facilities, is worried about her safety and others. After seeing this list of COVID-19 numbers in nursing homes across the state, last night. What I'm afraid of is some, some of our aides work two and three jobs, so they go from one facility to another. Grace Living Center in Norman with at least 36 confirmed cases and four deaths. Parkway Post Acute Recovery in Oklahoma City with at least two cases. Emerald Square with at least one. What keeps you pushing forward to speak out and fight for others like yourself? Just because you're 69 doesn't mean that you're no longer a human being. Wes Bledsoe, founder of A Perfect Cause and longtime nursing home advocate, is fighting for Foster and others like her, filing this petition with Change.org, pushing for immediate testing in nursing homes. What we're asking is the governor to redirect COVID-19 testing from street corridors to where the greatest need is in order to flatten the curve. In the meantime, Foster says she won't be silenced and will continue to be a voice for the voiceless. I don't like being in this situation, but somebody's got to do it. In Oklahoma City, Portia Riley, KOCO 5 News.